During a heated Prime Minister's questions on Wednesday, Theresa May ridiculed the SNP's desperate calls for another independence vote in Scotland. The debate began when the SNP MP said, in January, 83% of Scottish MPs voted against the Prime Minister's deal. Last night a historic vote took place in the Welsh Assembly and the Scottish Parliament, both parliaments simultaneously rejecting the Prime Minister's deal. The SNP has no mandate from the Scottish people to continue to persuade independence Theresa May. Isn't it the case that the Prime Minister has no mandate from Scotland for either no deal or her deal? In response, Mrs May said, We entered the European Union as the United Kingdom. We will leave the European Union as the United Kingdom. MPs cheered as the Prime Minister added, and I also say to the Honourable Lady that the SNP has no mandate from the Scottish people to continue to persuade independence. Brexit news, Theresa May said SNP have imaged Parliament. TV. In 2014, Scotland held an independence referendum and subsequently remained as part of the UK at a 55% majority. The comments come as First Ministers of Scotland and Wales increased the pressure on Mrs May this week and demanded a reckless behaviour over Brexit must stop now. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon and her Welsh counterpart Mark Drakeford spoke out after politicians in Edinburgh and Cardiff took a united and historic step to vote against both Theresa May's withdrawal deal and the prospect of a no-deal Brexit. In a debate at Holyrood, Ms Sturgeon had insisted claimed Brexit will be unforgivably reckless. Following the debate, the two first ministers said, for the first time in the 20-year history of devolution, the National Assembly for Wales and the Scottish Parliament voted simultaneously to oppose a damaging no-deal Brexit. The vast majority of members across both chambers voted in agreement that a no-deal outcome would be completely unacceptable and that an extension to Article 50 is the best way forward to protect Wales, Scotland and the UK as a whole, a UK government spokeswoman said. Mrs May's exit terms represent a good deal for Scotland, Wales and the whole of the UK, the spokeswoman added, refusing to support the Prime Minister's deal simply makes a damaging no-deal more likely.